Hi, everybody. Review time. I was shopping at Uncle Giuseppe's, and I found another variety of pie on my wood fire. Margarita. It looks really good. And if, if you remember, this is one of my highest scored um, home frozen pizzas. The jalapeno onion one was like my second highest score. My highest score ever is Roberta's Margarita. So I'm hoping for big things from this. I'm hoping maybe we'll have a new king as highest best home pizza. Remember, all the home pizza scores are in, are all relative to other frozen pizzas. It's not relative to actual pizza rays because that's a different a different category, a different ballpark altogether. Anyway, this is 9.8 ounces, made here in New Jersey. It was 10 bucks at Uncle G's. It's a very small pie for ten dollars, so it's steep. But again, if you bought this at a restaurant, it would be like over twenty bucks easy. Um, we got seven hundred seventy calories for the whole thing, which I'm definitely gonna eat because it's small. Nineteen hundred twenty milligrams of sodium, which of course is high. It's pre-made. You know how the how it goes. That's the deal. All right, listen. This is what drives me crazy, like a broken record. I'm gonna say it again. Seven to nine minutes at 425. I preheated my oven to 425, let it run for 10 more minutes, so everything was completely preheated. Started out at 10 minutes, not done. 12 minutes, not done. 14 minutes. I thought maybe it was done. I took it out, checked it out. No, totally floppy, not done. I went back two, two minutes, one more time, one more time. So I went 18 minutes total on this. It's not burnt. I hope we got a crisp. Anyway, I'm expecting big things from this. Here's the crappy packaging. You know the deal. It's a fully cooked pizza, so it's vacuum packed inside this, this plastic, like right away, with no air. So it's it's almost like a fresh pizza. Here's the packaging. Final product. Final product, it's shaped a little bit like a football. It looks just like Roberta's. I'm hoping for big things. Hoping for New King here. All right, we, we got, feels like we got a little crisp. Let me cut this bad boy up and we'll see what we got. Ooh, the crust is definitely crispy. Oh no, the middle doesn't feel crispy. Oh, I need a new oven. I'm moving anyway, so we're getting a new oven. Maybe the new oven will cook better. I don't know. Oh, the mud smells fresh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. I got to get this slice to sample because it's got a little everything on it. Oh, we got floppage. Oh, we got a nice char on the bottom. I think that's the original char that, that they did. It's a little floppy, but you know what? It's got a lot of mud, so that could be the floppage. All right, let me go in. Let me try it out. Tell you what I think. All right, it's not crispy, but it'll lose some points for not crispiness. The sauce and the basil, nice, nice, really nice. Totally reminds me of Roberta's. I would actually maybe think I was eating Roberta's if, if I didn't know better. Let me get more of a mutz bite. Mmm, fresh buffalo mutz. Out of this world, so good, so good. Let's let's see what the crust is doing. We got some char for sure. Let's see how crispy it is. Mmm, mmm. Same thing as the bird is. Something about this dough is just out of this world. I'll tell you right now. I love this pizza. I totally recommend it. That's what I'm talking about. Only problem is, of course, it's it's even more floppy than Roberta's. I think it would have beat Roberta's, but it's not going to because it's not crisp in the middle. I'm going to have to buy this again and review it again and figure something else out. Maybe put olive oil on the pan. Maybe cover the edge with tin foil so the middle cooks better. I don't know, but anyway, top-notch pie, top five for sure of all time, best frozen pizzas, 
This thing is awesome. I recommend it to everybody. I'll totally get it again. The only thing is the score is not going to be super high as Roberta's. Still super high. Still over 9, which is outstanding. This guy's getting a 9.3. It's that good. The fresh mutts is the bomb. The sauce is delicious. The dough has something about it that's, like, incredible. This is as good as Brooklyn Pizza, which is, like, over double the price if you pick it up at the store. Well, maybe not for this size, but it's definitely more expensive than this. That's what I'm talking about. That's the review for today. If you enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. Everybody have a great day.